Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Effects Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri after a very long time. In fact, it's been like two months, 63 days to be exact. Um, unfortunately, I've been very sick for the last two months and I haven't been able to do anything, a project or a tutorial or a video for you guys. So I'm sorry about that. And uh, yeah, so after two months, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this... Uh, very awesome water dancing effect using a Phoenix FD and 3D Studio Max. So I, I did a video like this like two years ago and I uploaded it on social media, YouTube and Facebook. And people, a lot of people asked for a tutorial and after two years, I'm going to uh, be doing the tutorial for this. Uh, but before getting into today's video, I do want to give a shout out to my Patreons and the people who joined my Patreon page. Um, I want to thank them and, uh, you know, I want to thank them for staying with me and supporting me through all this. Um, I would not have been able to do what I do without you guys' support. So thank you guys so much for staying with me and supporting me and keep doing it. And the project files for this very tutorial is available on my Patreons as well. So uh, enough talking, uh, let's get started. So this is what we're going to be creating in today's video. And uh, yeah, here is the scene. So if you download the project files and you open it, this is what you're going you're gonna to have in your scene. You just uh, select the Phoenix FD box and hit simulate. And I've just simulated a couple of frames. So the model, I've actually downloaded it from Mixamo.com. So it's you can you can go ahead and uh, get it from Mixamo.com. Uh, so if you go there, so let me show you guys. Okay, so if you go to Mixamo.com and you log in, you can log in with your email or your Facebook account. You'll have in the character section, you can select a character, which I did. And in the animations tab, you have a lot of different animations, which you can go ahead and filter them out. Combat, adventure, dance. So I chose dance and probably you can just click on one and it'll apply it to your character. So this is it. You can go ahead and check it out. And if you like it, uh, you can change a couple of the settings if you don't want it to. So once you're okay with it, you can just go ahead and download with skin FBX. Uh, FBX is like, you know, you can almost import it into any 3D software, Houdini, Cinema 4D, Blender, 3ds Max, Maya, anything, and you can download it and bring it inside 3D Studio Max. All right, so after bringing the model, so what I did was I went to my unit setup and set it to centimeters, make sure one unit is one centimeter. And yeah, here's our setup. So I created a Phoenix FD uh, grid, uh, Phoenix FD liquid grid. And here's a little box uh, with some texture on it, which is also available in the project files for this tutorial. So it's kind, it kind of makes it look like a swimming pool, a very small swimming pool. And apparently the water is coming out of the character himself. So yeah. Uh, I, I will just show you guys the settings that I've used for this. So I'm going to go and select the grid. Um, I'll go to the grid settings and I have 13,344,000 uh, uh, total cells. So you can increase it for a lot more quality, but I think this one was probably fine. And uh, in this setup, you know, the water is okay but we the more concentration the concentration is more on the foam itself so it will uh, create uh, some definition of volume and stuff so uh, I will go into the dynamic settings and I have uh, steps per frame to two you could even increase it to like four uh, if you have a you know fast moving character but in this case he is just dancing fine uh, so if your character is moving very fast, you can go and set it to 4. It'll actually allow the simulation to calculate it and compensate for the fast motion of the moving object, the emitter, so that it won't, you know, break the liquid. 
And for time scale, I've set it to 0.7 because I want it to be a bit slow. And the rest is fine. And for the foam, I just turn it on, set the amount to 10, birth threshold to 50, and the size to 0.3 centimeters. And that's basically it. And also for the splash and mist, I haven't enabled them, so don't have to worry about that. And for the particle shader, for the foam, I used points because points are, you know, the fastest to render and, you know, you're going to need a lot of them. So if you use something like uh, foam, uh, sorry, bubbles, it'll probably take forever to render because they will be very heavy to render, but points are fine. And the multiplier, count multiplier, I set it to two, so it's going to be twice the foam that is simulated and it will render it twice. And for the liquid uh, source, I've used the character itself and 10 centimeters is the outgoing velocity. And that's basically it. And I have a V-Ray sunlight, just like that. And I have for the environment, the V-Ray sky. And if I go into the render setup, let me see here what I've used. So I've used bucket and two and 24 uh, minimum and maximum subdivs. So 0 0.006 for the noise threshold. And I'm using Erdin's map. Uh, very low, but I can increase the subdivisions for this. So 100 and probably like uh, 70 for the interpolated samples. So yeah. Those are basically the settings, and I've used like 1920 by 1080, and I rendered out like what, uh, not 300 but 400 frames. So just like that, and yeah, here's the result. So that's basically the gist of it. So you can you can go ahead and uh, download different types of characters and motions from Mixamo.com and use it and create these beautiful beautiful render so the container one more thing that i forgot to tell you is that if i select this for the grid i used jammed both for x and y because i don't want the liquid to uh, you know move out of the simulation area and it's going to be open for the z so it's going to be bottom and top because we have this uh, sort of box here that will contain the water Otherwise, for the two sides, it won't allow it to go out because if it does, it would just go out of the grid and, uh, you know, splash out and it will take a lot of time to simulate. So, yeah, that's basically what we did. So, yeah, this was the today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'll be posting a lot more videos frequently. And uh, if you want to get the project files for this and some awesome other tutorials, uh, you can go ahead and join my Patreon page and support me as well in the process. So yeah, this was the today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next one, enjoy working.